time the conference has been uh, such an explosion and such a uh, kind of uh, area where we can all get together, industries and academic alike, and just kind of have that like minds to ex exchange the thoughts and perspective on what is actually happening in the real world. I, as a chemical and environmental engineer, I feel like um, um, that this could be an impactful moment, especially when it comes to impl um, implementing sustainability in our future generations' uh, course of uh, work. Uh, I think this conference was a great opportunity to see that people are also working in the area of red mud utilization to meet all of them and also the conference location is also great. So for me the session on Tuesday was from the most interesting part where we see all these different routes within the concrete industry but of course the other sessions on Monday and Wednesday are also very interesting and enriching because you get a broader view on the both side residue problems and, and valorization routes. Uh, what I particularly like the most uh, is the more view from the industry where they present their roadmaps on how to tackle this uh, problem, which is yeah, very nice. Uh, so I also presented uh, at this conference and I think it's a, an interesting conference to meet also uh, people from industry. You can really see what are the problems and the challenges they face and we can uh, give some solutions for for their uh, problems. I'm uh, here at the Bauxite Residue Conference in Athens. It has been a very nice experience so far. Uh, we have a nice mixture of industry and academia working together to solve this uh, challenging problem. This is the second conference I'm attending and I'm very, very hopeful that we'll attend a third one and more solutions will be presented there such a great opportunity for me working on, the, on this topic of bauxite residue to meet experts around the world working on bauxite residue valorization and also to meet other young researchers working on this topic so and also of course to meet our industry and see their challenges and the possible solutions for processing of this uh, material. There is a very nice positive atmosphere on the conference itself. The type of breakfood I really love is probably a melizana furno. That's one of the most delicious ones. Of, co by, by, of course, it's a halloumi cheese. Uh, yeah. Should like. Uh, tzatziki. <laughs> Clearly tzatziki. <laughs> My favorite Greek food yesterday was the zucchini pancakes. These were absolutely delicious with a little spoon of tzatziki. It was very good.